I'm delighted to be joined by Jim Coffey. How are you, Jim? Very good, very good. For people that don't know you, Jim, you're a big owner in Paul Nolan's yard and you're the yard sponsor as well of your company, Softco. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a great interest, great interest. Uh, we are here on the court this morning. Uh, Paul and James have a few horses galloping this morning and two of them are yours, Miss Milner, who's been good to you, and Quimino, who's obviously been very good to you. Um, tell us a little bit about Quimino. Well, Camino has already been out, and thankfully we're we're, we're on the boards already this year. We he won in Roscommon there on a hurdle uh, in over uh, two and a half, I think it was. So he's already on the boards. He won nicely for us in Leperstown, obviously in the in the festival. Uh, he's been fantastic, uh, and we're hoping that he'll get into the plate. Uh, we'll see. We'll find out at that stage, and uh, it's great to see him today because. With the current restrictions, you don't can see the horse very often. Mrs. Milner has also won over hurdles for us. She had it; she was nice. She was in Leprechaun. She was second uh, in an, in, a, in a handicap there, so she's been very good to us. And she also was working at, working today. Hopefully, get her into into a mare's uh, handicap hurdle also in Galway. So you have to wait and see. Uh, but they're both nice animals, really nice. How many horses do you have with Paul and James? About fifteen, I think, at this stage. About fifteen between with some young horses. We probably would have ten or twelve in training. Uh, we've a new. We, we we have so obviously we have part of the latest exhibition, and we have a new horse in the yard this year, Cru Bourgeois, uh, in conjunction with the Brown family as well. So we've probably got about twelve in training, and we've two or three youngsters coming through as well, who we should see in training. One of them this this year, and two of them are younger. Uh, latest exhibition won a grade one when news got on board with Jim Myrna um, and was a great day in Leprechaun uh, as you said yeah brilliant timing and um, he's a horse that the lads have always taught mass big things of and when he's going to go chasing he's always going to be a better horse obviously uh, it was a great day in Cheltenham but as well obviously disappointment to just get touched off yeah listen uh, uh, Leprechaun was fantastic and uh Cheltenham, I wasn't there um, uh, with various restrictions and things. Uh, it was unfortunate. It was a fantastic race. Uh, I don't think he actually enjoyed the journey across and back as well. So I think that experience will, will see him in good stead for next year. Uh, I thought he jumped brilliantly on the day. It was just a brilliant race. I think it was probably the race of the, of the festival in terms of three or four of them coming to the line. All of them uh, look like they've got good, good futures. We're looking forward to seeing him over a fence because by all accounts, uh, he, he actually even improves over a fence. So it's an exciting year. It's, it's great to be involved in it. Uh, and look, fingers crossed, everybody stays sound, which is what I always say. A horse that I really like is the horse that you mentioned a few minutes ago that you're with the that you bought with the Browns from Colin Bowes. He's an Alan Mix horse, a four-year-old. He unfortunately didn't get to run for Colin Bow because of um, racing shut down. But maybe it's a good thing for you because you've got to buy him. Yeah. Um, remind me of his name again. Uh, Crew Bourgeois. Yes, uh, very exciting horse. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. And, and, and it's it, myself and, and Dan Brown of the Brown family uh, bought him together, uh, and they're. They're brilliant people, uh, and it's great having horses. Uh, we've had a horse, Crazy Heart, who's been very good to us together. Uh, he came from Colin Bowes as well. He came from Colin Bowes as well, and he's been, uh, you know, he's he's won a few times. He's always placed. We've had a we've had a great run with him, so we decided we'd we'd go again. Obviously, the Browns are also involved in in latest exhibition, but this fella is very exciting. Once again, stay sound. Uh, the reports from him are great. I think. You've actually seen him run much more often than I've, I've seen him I've run. I've seen him plenty of times over <laughs> exactly. the winter. And so uh, I'm looking forward to actually seeing him even on the gallops and, and uh, I'll do that hopefully over the next few weeks. But yeah, we're really, really looking forward to it. Uh, Jim, it's been tough for everybody through since uh, COVID started. We're very tough for you owners. These are still paying the bills. Without you, we, uh, racing wouldn't be able to continue. You're paying all that money, but yet you don't get to go to the races. Um, it's just something that's out of everybody's hands, but I'd say you're looking forward to being able to get well, back absolutely. to the races. Look, look, in the bigger picture, everybody has to look at this. This is this is an awful disease. Uh, we all have to follow the guidelines. We've all, as a nation, been really good, and I think owners r recognise that. You know, it's 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 a moment in time. If we all dig in, if we all stick together. Hopefully we'll be there at, at, at Leprechaun at Christmas and hopefully the, the big festivals this year. I don't think we want to, I think it's probably the right decision that the government made in terms of, of, the, of the restrictions. Obviously we won't be in Galway, but I think it's a small price to pay for, for the greater good. Um, we do, uh, look, it's the best part of racing. It's the best part of going on the day. Obviously when the horse wins, it's even a better part, but the whole part of it 
the involvement is fantastic. It'll be back. We just have to be patient. And uh, as I said, it, it, it's a, there's a bigger picture issue. And um, before I let you go, tell us a little bit about Softco, your company. Softco, actually, this year we're 30 years old. Um, we we were established in 1990. Um, we do financial automation software, automating procurement practices and payables. Uh, we're involved in the yard for oh, a long time now. Uh, it's it's um, they're great guys to to uh, to work with. Um, very personable, very good in the media themselves, and really, once again, they've they've given great coverage to Softco. We've had actually all our sponsorships have been very fortunate. We've obviously been involved in the Irish women's hockey team as well, which has been great business. Um, We've been fine through the through the pandemic at the moment. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, we keep going um, strongly. Um, and look, uh, it's it's onwards and upwards. Hopefully. And so you're a keen golfer, and you spot South Coast sponsors a couple of US golfers as well. Troy Merritt. Yeah, and Troy Merritt. We had Chesson Hadley previously, previously, and and uh, uh, Troy at the moment is is obviously over in in uh, uh, the Memorial Tournament. He had good fi finish in the last couple of uh, mm, of he's playing well. I think he's been in the top. He was last week's top 20, week before that was top 10. Uh, he won the Barbasol. Uh, it's, once again, it's, it's, we have a bunch of customers in America. So in terms of coverage in America, uh, it's really good to have American as part of the team. So yeah, listen, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a passion of ours again. Uh, and it's good to have some, some really good guys. And he's a really nice bloke, uh, Troy is. He, and he really, obviously has done really good for us over the last mm. few years. That's good. Well, listen, Jim, thanks for taking time talking to me and best luck for the season ahead and hopefully plenty of winners. Listen, thanks a million. Cheers.